Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to Fighting Talk. This will be where I explain how KSI can defeat Logan Paul. Also, hopefully, some good tips on self-defense for my corner. Right, okay, um, I, you know, you guys know, I'm not a massive KSI fan. I even put a video out there offering him out for the fight. I wanted to fight him before he agreed to Logan Paul. Um, however, he didn't accept that, and that's fine. You know, I don't hold it against him. Probably the smartest decision he ever made, if I'm being honest. Uh, so, I, I mean, I still think he's a twat, but he's less of a twat than a massive twat that he's about to fight. So, I'm willing to give him some tips. Also, KSI is English, and it's coming home, so you've got to support him against the Yanks. Right, okay, fighting talk. I have been examining about Logan Paul and his history. He was a wrestler, if you don't know, and a very competent wrestler. I'm worried a little bit for KSI because he defeated um, Weller easily, don't get me wrong, but that was his first fight. Logan Paul has been wrestling and fighting for years. There is a fighter's instinct, a killer instinct. Believe me, I know all about it. Um, and I don't know whether KSI is aware of this and whether he's prepared for this. And also, I have found that Logan Paul has exceptional upper body strength, exceptional core strength. And what KSI in particular needs to be prepared for, you know, the mental side of it accepted, is that he's going to get body blows coming in at him. You know, when that was mainly going for his head, it's going to be a different story against Logan Paul. A wrestler will have a unique appreciation of the pain that can be inflicted on the body. And that will be something that Logan Paul will be targeting. Low blows just above the belt, you know, in the ribs and stuff. Hopefully, KSI is already aware of this, you know. Hopefully, they're training him, they're sparring him for that. However, I want to give him some more tips because it is a situation I faced myself a little bit when I was younger. It's, it's always useful when you're talking about combat to relate it back to situations uh, that you've previously been in, I find. Um, and when I was about 13, I had a fight with a guy called James Monroe, and he was similar to Logan Paul. Not that he was a wrestler, but he had very good upper body strength. He was fisher folk. His dad was a fisherman. He went out with um, his dad every weekend, pulling in the nets and stuff. Fisher folk are strong folk. They're tough folk. Anyway, I had a fight with him, and I, he didn't beat me, you know, but I didn't win either. We both, you know, I got a couple of good blows in my blooded his nose but also he inflicted an awful lot of pain on my ribs i was really surprised by it um so i took that on board you know i started training for that because obviously you're going to come up against that again um so what i did i was only 13 i didn't have access to gyms and stuff um hold on you've got to replenish your fluids in this heat even if you're not training so important ah. Um, where was that? Training, yeah. So I came up with a individual kind of tailored training routine um, using what was available to me as a young lad. Uh, I was living on the Isle of Wight at the time and up the cycle track there was a copse, a small wooded area. I started running laps around this, the most densely treed part of this. Uh, for like an hour I would sprint full power, not through the little tracks but off-road, right through the trees, branches slapping against me, right? I'd do it for an hour on end. I did it for about 10 weeks. I'd do two or three times a week, I'd do it, right? By the end of it, my body had become accustomed to blows. It was calloused and hard, and I was becoming very adept at dodging these blows on the move. And also, my stamina was improving. And as well as that, I had a mental connection to nature, taking myself off, you know, just peace and quiet, off in a deserted area. It's the mental game as much as anything that I want KSI to work on. So while I'm sure he is doing sparring against, you know, opponents who are aiming for his body and stuff, I would really recommend that he adds this to his training routine. Take yourself off, mate. Get yourself into a forest. Start running the laps around it. Get yourself connected to nature. Be peaceful. Be alone. Because Logan Paul is going to have a very strong mental game. He's been in fights. He's been in pain. He's wrestled repeatedly. You did well against Joe Weller, but this is going to be a completely different game all right and that is as much as i'm going to give you all right i'm not going to give you sparring tips i'm not going to show you you know good punches and stuff because at some point i do hope to fight ksi and like my hero lord edard stark said you know i'm not going to give this stuff away i'm not gonna you know fight for fight for fun i don't want another man to know what i can do if i'm going to fight him so yeah you can have this training tip but that's as much as you get in now go and beat that massive 
poofy haired little bloody spasmoid Logan Paul. Um, it's great to be back with you guys on a proper face cam. Uh, unfortunately, a Tinder slot stole my camera, but I've got one back again and I've got a microphone for it. Um, and that also is one of the reasons I haven't made this video before because when you're talking about combat, or uh, well, when you're facing combat, eye contact, very important. All these little mental tips will be key for KSI. Look Logan Paul in the eye. You don't need to say anything, just give him the eyes and then smash his body head in. You can do it.